Hi, everybody, and welcome to another What's New Wednesday webinar for the month of March 2024. My name is Katie, and I'm a design educator coming to you from our Austin, Texas office. While everyone's jumping on, I'd love to learn a little bit about y'all. Where are you coming from, and what are you using Canva for the most right now? So for example, I'm Katie. I'm in Austin, and I've been using Canva a lot to make training decks for my team to teach them all about the new features in Canva. Nice. So I can't wait to sit down and read all of those comments and see all of the creative things you all are working on. But today, why don't we go ahead and get into the new features? Here's what we're gonna go over today. If this is your first time joining us, a few burning questions up top, yes, this session will be recorded. So if you can't stick around for the entire thing, don't sweat it. We'll be sending you a recording from YouTube later this week. Also, the way these sessions go, I do a little bit of talk explaining the new feature, and then I'll jump into the demo. So a little bit of talk, a little bit of demo, and make sure you are grabbing that handbook. You can get a link to the handbook template right there above the chat. Also, our amazing moderators will be dropping links for you as well. The handbook is going to have links out to resources to help you use Canva more efficiently. The handbook is going to have examples for you to do in your own time of the features we talk about today. Plus, it's going to have a link out to the playlist of all previous events. So yeah, you definitely want to make sure you grab that before you're heading out. Now, that all being said, are you ready to get into the features? Let me know if just from this list, if there's one that's jumping out at you or one you've already tried, but otherwise, let's dive in. Brand kits. If you are using Canva for a business or any kind of brand, brand kits are essential to making sure that your team is always 100% on brand, from colors to fonts to logos, whatever you need, make sure you have it in your brand kit so you can always be designing on point every single time. But now there are some updates to brand kits, so let's talk about them. There are several updates to the brand kits that I want to talk about right now. And then after we discuss it, I'll show you in the demo exactly how you can be putting all of those to use. First of all, you can now add gradients to your brand kit colors. Gradients are huge right now and just a way to really elevate your designs, make them more colorful, make them pop. And if you are tired of sitting around being like, wait, how, what color was I making those gradients? You can now put them in your brand kit. You can also edit your brand kit from the editor, which will come in handy, which I'll show you in a moment. But my favorite update is that you can now add so many more assets to your brand kit. So a few months ago, we updated the brand kit to where you could add graphics and photos, and it was limited to 200 of each of those. But now you can add two thousand assets of each one to your brand kits. So, you know, if you just had a photo shoot for your team and you want every single picture in your brand kit, you don't have to pick and choose now. You can add them all. So a little bit about brand kits before we get into the demo. Brand kit is a pro feature. So this isn't available on a free account. But you know, if you are really serious about taking your branding of your business or your team to the next level, you may want to consider looking into that pro account for this feature. It has been a huge time saver. Also, if you are on a team, you need to be either an admin or the team owner or a brand designer to make changes to a brand kit. So. 
That being said, enough talking. Let's jump into the editor. And here we are in the brand kit. Here you can see I have our logos, our colors, we have different fonts set for different types of type that we might be doing. We have our brand voice, which we went over in a previous event. And then here are some pictures in graphics and so on. So first I wanna show you adding a gradient to your brand kit. So here we are right here, here's all the colors. You just simply go to add and where solid color used to be your only option, you can now go to gradient and start choosing the colors from your brand kit that you wanna to use to make a gradient color. So let me put these in real quick. So there's one color. And then I want to do a lighter color here. And then for the third color, you can do two colors, three colors, however many you want. I think no more than three is my personal preference. and then choose what direction you want those to come from. So there we have it. Now I have a gradient in here. And now to add more photos, I can go to add new and upload photos. I happen to have on my desktop all these new images. And so I'm just going to pull them all in. I suggest before uploading images, go ahead and naming them what you want to name them. Stick with a naming convention that makes sense for your team so that you can find the photos later more easily. I'll show you what I mean in a second, but yeah, it just takes a minute for these to all upload. For instance, you can see that these are named yoga. So when I go to search for them later, when I'm looking for pictures of yoga, I can find those easily. Now let's go ahead and jump into the editor and see these new features in play. Okay, so here we have a template that I found in the template library. I really like its simplicity, but you know, you just saw the inside of our brand kit. These aren't the right colors. These aren't the pictures from our brand. So we are gonna get it on brand really, really quickly using everything from the brand kit. First, I'm gonna click on this background color, and I want that white strip to be this cream color. Now, watch the bottom where you see all of the, the rest of the deck. Everywhere that it's white, I hit change all. Now it's all that cream color. And so let's say I want this to be that new gradient that I created. Ooh, actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at this gradient in a design, I don't love it. It's a little busy. So since I am an editor, since I am an admin in my team, I can now make changes to the brand kit from within the editor. So I'm gonna go up to brand right here, and here's my colors, I'm gonna edit. So I'm gonna click this gradient. I just wanna take the dark green out. I think it's gonna look a lot better with the two lighter colors. Okay, so I've changed it and I hit save. And see, it tells me that the brand kit has been changed for the entire team, which is what I want. So let's go back and change that to my new gradient. Oh, I think that looks so much nicer. So now I'm gonna change all of the brown to the gradient color. There we go. And then from within the brand kit, you know, I just wanna start pulling in my 
features, pulling in my assets. We are changing this to be a deck about, let's see, summer trends. And that's what we're updating everything for. For summer trends, we know that we want this picture to be something that we're gonna be focusing on. Let's say for summer trends, we're gonna be focusing on hiking and staying hydrated while you hike because this is a wellness brand. So I'm gonna go down to my photos here and I wanna pull in one of my hydration pictures from my brand kit. Oh, and there are my pictures. And now, just flip that around. Cool. And now I can just start doing the same with the entire deck. For instance, here, I want to put in a picture of the, the member of the team who's gonna be leading this project. So in the brand kit, I've stored all my photos of the team with the naming convention staff name. So I'm gonna search staff and there's Claudia. So I'm gonna pull her in and then we're gonna do the same thing with all of the rest of the deck and then, you know, start updating. Team lead, Claudia, and just start pulling everything else in and making it our own. So you watching me do that might not be the most engaging part of this event. So we're gonna skip ahead to a more completed design. So here it is. We've updated everything. You can see we have our graphics from our brand kit. We have our images. We have our hiking images that we've uploaded into our brand kit. Some more of the hydration one. And how good does this look? And it only takes a few minutes to completely transform one of our templates into something completely on brand with using the brand kit. Now, just because I do always like to take things one step extra, I want to add some animation to this so that when I am presenting it and I go from page to page, it just looks a little bit more fun. So I'm clicking animate up here, and I'm just gonna add some magic. I clicked on magic animate. Yeah, so let's see the finished product now. I love how everything comes in so smooth like that. I love how it draws your eye to the features that we're talking about, and I love the smooth transitions that we've added. So yeah, that is the updates to the brand kit and how you can start using them right away in your next project. Next up, we have a really exciting new app called Type Gradient. I feel like it's really common in these sessions that I see a lot of viewers that just aren't aware that we even have an app store on Canva. But yeah, we have a really robust app store and we are always adding really, really cool features and apps to that store that you can be using today to upskill and just really make your designs pop. So make sure to check out the App Store, and there's also more information about that in the handout that you can go ahead and grab now. So yeah, let's talk more about this awesome new app. Type Gradient. I am obsessed with the Type Gradient app. We have been getting a lot of requests for a long time where users want to add gradients to more part of their designs. Like you just saw, we have it in our brand kit now. You can also now add gradients to borders and lines, but the text element of that has been missing, but it is here now. This app in the Canva App Store is free and available to everyone to use, regardless of your account type, so let's see it in action. Okay. 
Here we are in the editor, and I have an onboarding deck that I made for a new employee on my team. I want to welcome them to the team. And so here's what we have so far. I mean, it looks nice, but I feel like we could definitely make it a little bit more eye-catching. So <clears throat> there are two ways that you can find the App Store. One is from within your editor. So you can go up to apps right here and then search for what you want. But just so you know where to find it at all times, let's say we are at our Canva homepage. You can also click right here and go to apps. And then you can filter them by what kind of app you're looking for. So design essentials, AI powered, and you can even search right here. But for this one, we are in the editor already, and I'm gonna search type gradient. And there it is. So whatever you want to have in a gradient font, you can just put in right here. So I'm putting an onboarding plan for Sky. And then you can change your font. I like this font right here. I think I might want it in the bold version. Then I'm going to center it. So you can see right here what it's gonna look like with the colors you've chosen. It defaults to the Canva colors, but I want something that matches this deck a little better. So I happen to already know the hex codes of what I wanna be using. You can just click on here and pull this around and find colors that you like, or if you do know the hex codes of what you wanna use, you can just paste it right here, which is what I am doing. Also, we have three colors in this gradient, which again, for my liking, I think that is an appropriate amount, but you can add more colors into your gradient, or you can even just have two, whatever you like. Okay. Ooh, so I like that coloring. You can also move this around so the gradients move with it. And then you can also adjust the line height here as well. The line height right here to make it super tall. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete what we have in the deck already. And I'm gonna put add to design. I just think that looks so much better. But now, I think I actually want it to say onboarding plan for Sky with on just two lines instead of broken up on three right here. So I'm gonna edit that here and then update element. There you go. Move this here, update element. Yes, that is exactly how I want it to look. I think that looks so much better than the original one, which looked fine, but this just really pops. And so now I wanna go do it for every page on here. And for saving time, let me jump into an already finished deck. So there you go. Doesn't that look great? I can think of so many really great ways that you can use this app for onboarding and training decks like I did here, or for social media posts, for your chapters in your YouTube videos, for your cover images, for your Instagram reels. So many really cool ways I think you can use this app. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or if you've already used it. Okay, and up last, but certainly not least, I think this is one that a lot of you are going to find really, really exciting. We have update to the AI photo editing tools. 
Over the course of the last year, Canva has dropped some seriously cool photo editing tools that are fueled by AI. And we have seen them here on What's New Wednesday several times. However, until now, you could only use one at a time while editing the same photo. For instance, you could use Magic Eraser or Magic Design. You couldn't use them on the same project. Well, those days are behind us. It's now possible to use more than one AI photo editing feature in the same design. Before we jump into the demo, I do wanna point out that Magic Studio photo editing features are pro or paid feature. If you have any questions, let us know in the chat. All right, let's get back into the editor. Okay, so here, I have a photo that I uploaded. You can see it right here. This is a flat image. That means this was uploaded with the text and everything already in it. So this is something I used for my business in the fall, fall sale. Now the spring is coming up. I want to use it again, but ugh, it's got that text on it. And there's just a couple of things that I think could really use some tweaking. So let me show you what you can do with Magic Studio. So first of all, we are gonna just set this image as the background. There you go. Then I'm gonna click on the image. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change that text. So I'm gonna click on grab text. This feature identifies text in a flat image and pulls it out for you it will sometimes alter the text. Like you see here, it changed the font a little bit. That's okay, we are gonna play around with this. I'm just gonna move it out of the way for now. One thing that was really bothering me about that picture was that the text was overlaying this, this shadow here, and that was really distracting. I didn't think that looked great. I know in reality, Items have shadows, but for the sake of this image, I want that shadow gone. So I'm gonna click on the image again, edit photo, and we are going to go to Magic Eraser. And we are gonna get rid of that shadow. So adjust your brush size. I want this one pretty big. Just start brushing over what you want gone. Be careful not to get anything you don't want erased. Sometimes it might take a couple of go-overs. Yeah, this kind of left a funky residue right there. Now it's gone. And now I want to make this brush size just a little bit smaller and get this. Depending on how complicated the background is, is going to affect how long it takes for the eraser to work, but there we go. I'm gonna hit back, and now I can add my text back there. I'm actually, what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna delete the word fall. I get a lot of comments of, oh, she's going too fast. So sorry, we do have to keep a good time going up, but if you, if you go ahead and keep an eye on your email, you're gonna be getting a replay of this event, so you can watch it again or slower. So I'm going to hollow that text, and I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard for text box. I'm gonna put in spring, but I actually, I wanna change that font. I want it in cursive handwriting. So you can go to the fonts and go to handwriting and kind of click through. But I know I really like the font Brittany Spring Sale. Get the sizing right. And in case you didn't know, if you ever have two items that you always want to move and resize together, so I want the word spring and sale to always move around and resize together. Just drag 
and group. And now those two items are grouped together and will resize together or whatever you want to do with them. Okay, now let's use one more of the magic editing features. Click on the image, edit photo, and I'm going to click on magic edit. Now this bag down here, it's nice, but you know, there's so much green in this picture. I, I think it would look better if it was green. So let's see what we can do with Magic Studio. So just highlight the bag. I'm gonna say change color to olive green. I wanna be specific. So, you know, cause there's a difference between olive green and bright green or any other color. So here we go, here are some options. I really like that. That one's good too. Eh, I'm not crazy about that one. But those all look really realistic, but I'm gonna go with the first one that I clicked on. Okay. How good does that look? Just for reference, you know, this is what it looked like before. But then with just some subtle tweaking using our AI Magic Studio tools, it is completely transformed so we can use it again for another season. I love that. Let me know which one of the Magic Studio AI photo editing tools are your favorite in the chat. Okay, well, that is all from me today, but before we go, I wanna let you know about some helpful resources. If you enjoyed this event, we are always hosting webinars and online events. Just check out our website, canva.com slash events. We've got so many awesome webinars always on, so please check those out if you liked this event and if you wanna learn more. Speaking of learning more, check out Design School. Design School is a one-stop shop where you can upskill anything you wanna learn how to do in Canva. They are self-paced modules, so let's say you wanna learn more about video editing. Hop into Design School, hop into that module, do them at your own pace. And before you know it, you will be a Canva editing superstar. And we do have a playlist on YouTube of all of the previous What's New Wednesday events. So feel free to check those out. Grab that handbook where there will be links to that for sure. Okay, thank you everybody. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you next month.